Hi, Gare. There's Vargas's number. Oh, you're Keith. Ronnie's you gone. You weren't here for the first game. Oh, and two to Rojas leading off, and the curveball struck him out, or did he get a piece? He did, and it's held by Nito for strike three. Two, category two. Brinson runs, swung and missed, thrown to second on a hop, skips by McNeil into center field. Brinson continues on to third. So Anderson strikes out. Popped it up, shallow center. Jackson circles in and puts it away to retire the side. Jeff Brigham makes just his second big league start for the Marlins. Barrett Claw, I think that was a changeup. Okay, which is a good sign for Michael. Pops this one up into shallow left. Who wants it? Bostic, the left fielder, coming on. No. And didn't, didn't, you know, didn't confront him in any way as Bostic strikes out for the second out, but it was really odd. Yeah. Reds last year. And he lifts this one to right. Nimmo slicing toward the line. A long way to go. And nice. he reaches down and gets it in foul territory right before hitting that low fence. He'll reach down and make the play to end the inning. Nicely done by Brandon and then prevents himself from flipping over that wall. Still no score in the second. Jackson mm. takes strike three call. Brigham gets him looking at a changeup. I would, I would drive him nuts. Nito drives one to right, but Galloway's right there. That have won over the history of baseball? Brigham lines a base hit. So in his first big league at bat, Jeff Brigham is batting a thousand. And they'll take that baseball out of play and save it for posterity. Maybe uh, Russ over there can look it up. I think there's only 11 teams. I think Russ, I could be wrong, that have won 100 and eight or more games and finish the job. That's drilled to deep left field. Back goes Conforto for a look, but that's gone. Miguel Rojas slugs a two-run homer, his 11th home run of the season, and the Marlins jump out in front 2 nothing. Rojas just performs well against the Mets. 0-2 from Vargas, and Anderson goes down swinging on the fastball, and there's the first out of the inning. Money probably had a lot to do with it. Galloway down on strikes, and that ends the inning. Five strikeouts for Vargas, but one and one to Conforto, and Michael hits one right off the fists, a little flare that Rojas is able to handle, and that retires the side. Without something going wrong physically, strike three called as Bostic's out for the second out. Well, Brigham trying nice. to put his way on and Nito with a terrific play to retire the side. Popping out from behind the plate to snag that foul bunt. And that gets Vargas through the fourth. You can call third strike on the inside corner, by the way. Thing. And they got Kershaw pitching. Anderson strikes out for the third time tonight. I took care of him. <laughs> Nito drives one to deep left field. Bostic takes a look, and that's out of here. Tomas Nito goes deep. And the Mets are on the board. It's two to one. First major league home run for Tomas Nito. 25-year-old Harley Garcia, whom the Mets saw as a starter earlier in the year, comes on in relief. And McNeil grounds what might be a double play. Rojas to second. Riddle to first. Not in time. McNeil beat it out to keep the inning going. Hoping Garcia can get him through it. But Conforto drives one a deep right center toward the wall, and it one-hops the fence. Vargas in with the tying run. Here comes McNeil trying to score. The relay by Rojas cut off, and the Mets have the lead. Michael Conforto with a two run double puts the Mets in front three to two. Riddle flies one out to right. Nimmo is there. And that retires the side. Keith on play by play when we come back. We go to the bottom of the six, three two New York. Flip flop here, Tyler Kinley gear. Take it away. Seventh uh, big league game for Tyler Kinley. And popped up. Will that stay in play over to the right side? O'Brien, he's got it. 
piece of cake, and that'll end it. Seth Lugo is on to pitch for New York. Well, this is kind of the Seth's, uh, you know, he's the bridge, and this is when your Mets have a lead. They like to go two innings, seven and eight, with Seth. And Lugo pops the fastball in for strike three call. And the curveball, oh. and he strikes out Wallach. Back to back strikeouts for Lugo to start the seventh inning. That's a beauty. 3 2 coming. And Ortega oh. takes strike three call. Got him looking with the fastball. And Lugo strikes out the side in the top of the seventh. Urchinski's first appearance in the series. 1 2 coming. And Conforto lines a base hit. Rosario to third. He's being waved around. The throw to the plate by Ortega comes up short. It's an RBI single for Conforto, his third RBI in the game, and it's 4 to 2 New York. And Don bounces one toward the hole. Nice stop by O'Brien. He'll have a play at first as a run comes home. Peter O'Brien keeping that ball from getting to the outfield. But McNeil comes in to score the second run of the inning, and it's 5 to 2. Pitch from Lugo to Rojas. And he struck him out. Four batters, four strikeouts for Seth Lugo, this time on a high inside fastball. I mean, we don't. Strike. Another strikeout for wow. Lugo. That's five in a row. Center field. Jackson in. Side retire. Two scoreless innings for Seth Lugo. Robert Gazelman on for the save opportunity as we go to the ninth. And that'll be going after his 11th save. And he flies one to shallow left. Long run in for Conforto. And he gets there and makes the catch off the shoot tops. And the ball game is over. And the Mets sweep the doubleheader from the Marlins as they win the nightcap. Three more RBIs for Conforto. Vargas settled in after giving up an early home run to get the win and the Mets take the nightcap five to two.